short coffee, sir? Ah, copper, you stupid android. Bring me a fresh cup, hot this time, and with sugar. Now, if I could get this one working again. Your move? I know, I know. Well, come on, then. Look, rule 17, I'm allowed five minutes for each move without interruption. Rule 17, John, allows two minutes. Oh, all right, two minutes. Hey, that's not fair. What's not fair? You're trying to read my mind. I felt you. Oh, no, I wouldn't do a thing like that. Mm, not much. You. Not yet, you haven't. Set back. Oh. I wonder if Stephen did see something in hyperspace. I don't know. Come on, it's your go. Got five minutes. Two minutes, according to Tim. You're stalling because you're stuck. Oh, no, I'm not. There. Shook you. <laughs> not really? Um. You don't seem very curious about it. About what? About Stephen seeing something in hyperspace. Oh, I'm not. I don't believe he did see anything. And if he did, he'd never get a photograph of it. We've tried time and time again to take a photograph in hyperspace. All you ever get is a nasty white nothing. Well, there's always a first time. No, not in this case. Oh, don't be such a know-all. I'm not a know-all. Look, you tell me, have we or have we not ever taken a photograph in hyperspace? Well, no, but that doesn't mean to say we won't. Conclusion, I think. You sidetracked me on purpose. Rubbish. You're just a bad loser. Want to make it the best of three? <laughs> sure. OK, Tim, I'm through the safe lights. Manners, Stephen. Thank you, Tim. Did anything come out, Stephen? No. Open the door, Tim. Please. Hyperspace. Am I draining? Too much power from your ship's circuits. No, take all you need. It is good of you. I owe you a great debt. What century is this? It's the 26th century by Earth calendar. 2,526, to be exact. Why? 500 years. I have been adrift in space. 500 years. Time travel. Time travel. It must have been invented by now. It has. When? Oh, about 300 years ago. Then it is almost commonplace. Commonplace, no. Possible, yes. Under certain circumstances. You think I was imagining it. Well, I wasn't. Oh, come on, Stephen. You can't be sure. Yes, I can. This wasn't like the other stuff. This was more substantial. Your friend, Ginge, is outside. Oh, let him in, please, Tim. Look, according to Tim, it is physically impossible for anything to exist in hyperspace. Well, according to my dad, it is aerodynamically impossible for a bee to fly. You try to a bee that. Oh, you lost still on about the Loch Ness Monster, then? Nothing to laugh about, Ginge. Oh, sorry, I spoke. Where's Lefty? Visiting his poor old mum. Who would have thought we had one, eh? <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the photograph. Now you see? Nothing. <laughs>
The photograph isn't proof, John. Well, you tell me something that is. I've got any proof that the evidence are in my own eyes. Yeah, that's about all the evidence one gets with you lot. I can hardly believe that most of the time. Trouble with you, Ginger, is you're just a sack. Yeah! Oh, that's enough, you two. Every one of us passes through hyperspace ten times a day every time we jaunt. Or well, at least let's check this thing out. All right. What were the last coordinates for the place you took these photographs? Finding your feet now? Yes, I am. It will take a little time. Pity you're such an ugly shape. A shape changer. This form pleases you. Yes, indeed. Oh, you and I are going to do splendidly together. Can you walk all right now? Yes. Good. And I'll show you around the ship. Your ship is permanently in hyperspace? Not permanently. When I found you, we were on one of our periodic visits to norm space to recharge the solar energy absorbers. Hyperspace is still the best place to hide. Hide? From the galactic police, amongst others. Why? A slight embarrassment a few years ago when one of my adventures caused the destruction of a small planet and all its inhabitants. All its inhabitants? A mere 10 billion. It wasn't altogether my fault anyway, but one gets blamed. And one becomes a wanted galactic criminal. One does, one does. Quite unjust, of course. And one wants to get away. Far, far away. What is this? It looks like a weapon of some kind. It is. It disintegrates a cannon. An armed ship. It seems a pity. Why? A pity for a man of your ability to be stuck here in hyperspace. And one day I shall return to the past. The past? Five lost centuries. You can come with me if you like. It's been done before, you know, very successfully at that. One of the emperors of ancient Rome was a wanted criminal from the 23rd century. And A.C. Pritchard, a petty confidence trickster from 2400 AD, became quite well known earlier on as Adolf Hitler. Well, how do you do it? How does one travel into years that have already gone? I'll show you. This is a time key. It can open the time lanes that lead back to the dawn of man and beyond. Is it working? Oh, yes, it's working all right. Well, what's keeping you, then? I can't operate it. The controls of a time key only work for a telepath. Then we must get hold of one. Come with me. By the way, what shall I call you? In my previous existence, I was called Jedekiah. For then. Well, that's to stop them breaking up. Hey? Eh? Straight up, Ginch. If you don't wear proper protection in hyperspace, you just drift apart. Limb from limb. Charming. Have you checked all the circuits are functioning correctly, Tim? Confirm all circuits entirely operational. What's, uh, what's that thing for then? Oh, it's an instrument. It measures your life force. Uh, get you. Want me to show you? Well, that's my life force, is it? That's right. Hey, Frankenstein, come here. Well, it's nice to know you got some. Give it here. Dead for my neck up, that's you. Oh, yeah? Well, Carol, I don't think he's dead for my neck up. Give us that, we've got to go. Are you ready, Carol? Whenever you are. <clears throat> Try not to break up the lab while we're away. Don't worry, Carol. John and I will keep an eye on them. Yeah, we'll be as good as gold, won't we, Kenny? Sure. Keep a close watch on their coordinates while they're in hyperspace, Tim. I have that in hand. Just bring us back a picture of the Loch Ness Space Monster and some sticky rock with the space written through it. OK, Tim. Let's jaunt. Acknowledge. Do you know, if I could do that, I'd never pay to watch Fulham again. <laughs>